Now I'll be showing you the sub module management from POS. So here's the management. Now here are the transactions. So I'll display the counter cash in. Now cash in is basically used when we need to give some additional amount of change to the cashier. For example, when you had opened the session, you had given 50 shillings to him, but then later because of the inadequacy of cash, you need to give him some more, give him or her some more amount. So from here you could write the staff name, the two name and the amount that you are giving to the cashier. So as you can see, the final balance has been updated. So this is how the cash in transaction will be done. So as you save the transaction, uh, the print will be generated for the cash in transaction. Now going to next is the cash out transaction. Now cash out is used uh, when the cash drawer is filled with excess amount of cash and the supervisor needs to collect it from collect it from the counter from the cashier or it could be for any other purpose. So you could select as you can see over here the current balance is 200. So now the supervisor decides okay I need to take in the 100 cash from the drawer. So here you could just write the staff name and the amount that you need to take away so here as you can see the final balance has been updated and you could fill in the remarks and now you could save the cash out transaction so this way user will make the cash out transaction so now going to next is the cash adjustment it is the same whether you want to make the cash in or cash out again it could be done from here now the next is pos receipt now pos receipt is done when a customer comes and give you an advance for something that you will be buying later so this is what basically for the advance entry now since the cashier who sits on the counter doesn't have usually have the right for accounting module so here is a medium where he could take away the cash from the customer, the advance from the customer exactly. Now there are two ways where you could open uh, the POS receipt form. One is from POS sales. This is just to make an easy entry uh, for the for the uh, for the for the cashier. So you could select from over here. Both serve the same purpose. So now I'll be making the POS receipt entry. So you could select if you know the account number you could directly write in or you could search using over here okay now here's the ten the list of tendering you could select the tender how the user is paying the advance okay so i have here i have returned the amount Okay, you could write in the remarks and now you could click on OK and the receipt has been saved and obviously you could print out, you could print the receipt. So this is how you would be making the POS receipt entry. Now uh, since all the transactions has been done, now the user will proceed to close the session. Now as you can see, now as I had mentioned earlier also, why user needs to close the session. So since it's the end of the day, user will close the session. The cash that the user has collected, he needs to hand over and give it over to the supervisor. And obviously supervisor would tally if there is any no mismatch or not. So it's very important for the user to close the session. Now here you can see the tender type has been listed. So the transactions that have been made, the amount that I have received from the specific tender type. Now the current tender type, the current column as you can see is visible over here. Now this I have configured it, configured it for the user. Uh, usually uh, user won't be able to see the current column, only the handover column. So user just has to hand over the amount. So since it's 6050, so if the user is handing over the 6000, so as you can see the difference is of 50. And now when user submits it, 
so the manager or the supervisor could tally okay there is a uh, mismatch of 50 or where the 50 has been used user could uh, the manager could ask into the cashier so the purpose is for closed session is to tally the tender type amount so now i'll proceed to close the session so as you can see the report has been generated and from here you could from here you could check in, the supervisor could check in or if there is any mismatch he could report it. So this is how the closed session is done. And if you want to further, if you want to view the report again, you could go in uh, to the session report. You could select the session and also print it from over here. Again, if you had missed, if you could, if you had already closed the session and user wants to print it again, you could use this particular report to print the session report.